What's up, Facebook? I didn't, I know it's like my second live stream for today, but uh, along with the release of my new movie, The Darkness, um, I wanted to talk about something that is kind of important that I've been getting a lot of shit about just from a couple people here and there. And one of them really pissed me off when they said this. As you guys know, back in 2016, I lost my best friend, Zach Hussein. He was my best friend throughout high school and everything. And what people don't realize is that me and him were brothers. But there was one lady that didn't know about me and him, you know, being as close as we were. And I was telling her, and she was like, you know, like, who was he? Because, like, she genuinely didn't know. She's like, I already know, like, who was he? Like, what happened? And I told him, I was like, you know, like, he was my best friend through high school. We met in high school. You know, and we became, like, brothers. And I shit you not, what she said next made me want to fucking lay this bitch out. And I mean that in every sense of the fucking word. Like, literally, I wanted them to fucking knock this bitch out. And she was like, oh, if you guys aren't blood-related, you're not family. You know, you guys are just friends. You guys might be like brothers, but you're not brothers. And I'm sitting there thinking, bitch, please. All right, Zach was my brother. One thing you don't realize is that my friends that I'm very fucking close to are my brothers and sisters. Like Ian, Eric Scrubbolo. Uh, let's see, who else? Aiden. Ricardo. Ethan. Jeremiah. My childhood best friend, Corey Shanahan, and his sister. Marcus. Rachel. Possessed one. Smiley J. Every single motherfucker that I've gotten close to over the years is more than just a friend of me. They're my family. And let me tell you something right now. You can sit there and say that, you know, that ain't your family. They're not blood. Who gives a fuck about blood? Blood makes you related. Loyalty is what makes you fucking family. It ain't about blood. It's about being loyal to one another. It's about having each other's backs. That's what makes family. Yes, I have the utmost love and respect for my blood family. I will always love my blood family. They gave birth to me. But I also have my extended family who I love more than anything. Just as much as my blood family. So you want to talk about family. I'm sure we've all got those friends that we consider fucking family. Every single one of us. And let me tell you something. If it wasn't for my motherfucking brothers and my sisters, that are in within my extended family, I would not be sitting here right now. If it was not for them and some of my favorite bands and artists getting me through those tough times, I would be dead by now. I would not be here right now. Because let me tell you something, I went through some pretty fucking dark ass times in my life that make people say that I should be dead. And they're right, I should be, because of those dark times that I went through. But because of my amazing fucking family, and some of my favorite bands getting me through those tough times, I'm still here, able to do what I have, what I have to do. So yes, a lot of my friends are my family. Blood makes you related. Loyalty Loyalty is what makes you family. 
Because let me tell you something. Each person I consider family, I have a bond with them like no other. And there ain't nothing that can break that. Especially with my brother Sean Sands. I've got a bond with that man like no one else. That man has seen me go through everything since day one back in 09. I've known the man for almost 12 fucking years. The dude's one of my best friends on earth. The dude's my fucking brother. I'm going to be his fucking best man at his wedding here in December. And honestly, I couldn't ask for a better fucking brother. And to be honest with you, I couldn't ask for a better extended family, period. Because every single person that I talk to has gotten me through some kind of tough time or has been there for me or, you know, has done something to show that they are loyal. And I've done the same for them. So you want to talk about family. Like I said. Blood makes you related. Loyalty is what makes you real family. No disrespect to my blood family in any way, shape, or form. I love my blood family to the death of me. I see my blood family and my extended family as equals. No one is above anyone. They are equal to me. In my eyes... My extended family and my blood family are all one family. I love everybody equally. Because they're my family. These are the people that would fucking give their life for me. And I would do the same for them. So to that lady that wants to talk about blood not being family... Lady, we all bleed red at the end of the day. Think about that. We all bleed red at the end of the day. Saying that my friends ain't family is like calling blood blue. Yeah, it may be blue when it's in your skin, but when it bleeds out, it's red. We all bleed red at the end of the day, woman. You need to get a grip. These ain't the olden days where, you know, you had your friends and then your family. No. These are the times where your friends can be your family. Times have changed. And the world's changing every fucking day. Every day. And it's not our place to question it. It's not our place to question most of that change. Like I said, lady, we all bleed red at the end of the day. Loyalty makes you family. Blood makes you related. And vice versa. So, you want to talk shit about me? You're basically talking shit about my family is what you're saying. You want to talk shit about me? You're wanting to talk shit about my family. Whether it's blood or extended, my family is my family. And I couldn't ask for a better fucking family ever.